I work with Aero Truck Sales. I want to take a few minutes of your time to show you our 2005 48 by 102 trailer that came in. Sometimes it's hard to tell you know, from the average eye if it's a good trailer or not so good or if there's features or benefits because they all kind of look the same. This is a steel wood composition in great condition. You have your sliding winches. The frame is in excellent condition. In fact, we sandblasted the whole thing just to make sure. Look down here, you, what you want to check for is the welds. And on the inside, you want to make sure the cross members are right. We went through this trailer, DOT'd it, and spent a lot of time making sure this is going to be a good quality trailer for whoever buys it. The steel wood composition it's good for a lot of people that have nail downs. If you had the aluminum combo, it wouldn't be as ideal. This is a spread axle, so perfect for over the road. Another thing the spread axle allows you to do is you don't have to be so exact with putting your load at different points. You can kind of be flexible. Kind of takes a lot of the casting out of the game. Now one thing specific to this trailer it has a lift front axle. That's a huge benefit. So that way, if you're coming back empty, you can lift the axle, save the tread life on your tires, and increase fuel efficiency. It has the storage boxes for the winches, the chains. This trailer is air ride, so it's comfortable too. Look through here, I mean you can just tell the trailer has been well taken care of. On this side you have your aluminum box for extra storage. You also have your side rails in great shape too. No cracks. That's a DOT violation. They'll shut you down. That's all been taken care of as well. You're just kind of coming down the frame. Everything is in great condition. The landing gear is in great shape as well. The last thing that everybody always asks, how do you know if a trailer is in great shape? Look at the curvature of the trailer. That'll tell you a lot about it as far as how much life is left in it. It has a good bow in it, so that way when you load it heavy, it'll be right where you want it to be. Again, my name is Seth. I work with Daryl. Let me know if you have any other questions.